I raced 70 competitors in the biggest Kingdom Hearts randomizer tournament ever. A tournament so big that Square Enix themselves hopped on as a collaborator for the event. My goal is simple. Race to prove that I am the best 17th place finisher. A couple of months back, I participated in my first Kingdom Hearts 2 randomizer tournament, and I finished in an astounding 17th place. And when I was invited to compete in another tourney, I knew I had to defend my title. But can I prove I'm worthy of the crown? Will I impress Papa Nomura? There's a lot at stake here. So I searched deep inside and asked myself, what was it gonna take to be the best? This was the Fresh Faces Tournament, a tournament specifically designed to bring newcomers into the tournament scene while also raising money for charity. But I only have... Ow. I only have one goal in mind, and that is to get 17th place. Hey, this is Dax from the future. I forgot to mention that everyone was racing all at once to claim the spot in the top 32 for the next round. And if you're wondering what this is about, you can subscribe and find out in the future. Back to the video. I took up Keyblade, Keyblade Stenics. It's kind of like calisthenics. Like, let me, let me show y'all. One. And that's how it's done. Once the seed was distributed to the runners, I started formulating my strategy to dash ahead of the competition. Looking at this tracker, holy shit, this might be a go mode. But I quickly realized that strategy is meaningless. There's a saying in the community, rando be rando. You don't know what's gonna happen when you start the run. High number worlds could have garbage checks, low number worlds may have a proof, you may have to throw some bears, you can't predict this stuff. I'm trying to like play 5D chess in my head and you cannot play a randomizer that way. You have to let your heart be your guiding key. So when the race began, I decided to play it safe and stick with the classic Pride Lance opening strategy. The tracker pointed to seven important items in this world, which made it all the more enticing. It's important to note that just because a world has a high number of important checks, that doesn't necessarily mean you're guaranteed to find what you're looking for. 100 Acre Wood has Feather Charm. Proof of peace, let's fucking go. But sometimes it does. I assume a lot of racers started off that way. We're not at like a big advantage. I knew that I had to clear as much content as fast as I could, and everyone else is probably thinking the same thing. Run, Sora. Run like the wind. The rest of my sprint through Pride Lands offered up a thunder element, a fire, the lamp charm, and another report before it was time to move on. Twilight Town was up next, where I found a report, but more importantly, a glide upgrade, making me even faster. I also found Magnet and Reflect arguably the most useful tools you can find in a run. Despite there still being a ton of checks here, I decided to leave and come back once I found Final Form so I could level it up during the forced mob fight at Station Heights. I utilize the shotgun method, meaning I go clear early content in each world to accumulate tools to make the later visits easier and more importantly, faster. Beast Castle was the next target in my shotgun, and I'd like to think I chose pretty decently. <laughs> We are schmoovin'. I celebrated by moving some furniture around, you know, getting that good feng shui, and finding limit form. I wasn't confident that I could beat Thresholder, so I decided to do some training in Olympus Coliseum, where I found Blizzard, but I wasn't satisfied with Phil's training. So I went to the Land of Dragons, where the randomizer made them. <laughs> I'm really about to say this, aren't I? So I decided to go to the Land of Dragons, where the randomizer made a man out of me. But whatever. Do your fucking shotguns, y'all! Holy shit! Now I know what you're thinking. I have three out of the four critical items needed to complete the run, and I found them in ten and a half minutes. I'm either the randomizer goat, or I'm insanely lucky. And the answer is... I'm neither. I mentioned it earlier in Pride Lands, but I'm doing the textbook early plays, so I have to assume that everyone has found the same stuff I have. I'm in a position where I have to find the last proof fast if I hope to stand a chance of advancing into the next round. And there's no way to know where the last proof is, rando be rando, so I opted to continue my shotguns. I ended up finding nothing in Space Paranoids, so I decided that Port Royal would be the next world I plunder. Not the prettiest, but we're doing it. Oh my god, we found all the proofs. It was behind the fucking levels. This was a go mode seed. Bro, bro, you, f you, you. How, did, how, what the fuck, bro? It was at this moment that I heard a calming voice whisper to me, and it said, Code Red! I repeat, Code Red! This is not a drill! Buy those ethers! Get those levels! Equip that Keyblade! Go, go, go! Oh, someone just finished first place. Second and third just finished. Holy shit! No, 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 I got distracted! Son of a bitch! Oh, this might be Dome Skip. Yeah, this is Dome Skip. Let's fucking go! Fourth place, baby! 
This actually ended up being 5th place, but considering there were approximately 70 people racing and a flood of them finished mere seconds after I did, I was feeling pretty good. Are you proud of me, Papa Nomura? I don't know how I could have been faster at that. There's no fucking way. There's no shot. However, the top 32 matches would prove to be more anxiety inducing. What once was a race against a mob of people to claim a spot in the top 32 became a 1v1 single elimination bracket. In these matches, if I see my opponent finish, that's it. I'm out of the competition. If I want that sweet, sweet 17th place, I've got to bring my A-game. And I think my enthusiasm got through to people. There we go, we see Daxian in costume. Very much love to see that. He was he was lifting weights a little bit. Uh, oh, is that this little I Love Rainbow <laughs> that I made? Oh, it's a beautiful stream, costume, uh, it's one of my favorites. He has made the Fresh Faces so entertaining to watch just oh, on yeah. his side of things. I go back and watch his restreams all the time. Despite the totally non-performative confidence radiating from my Herculean-like form, I felt a lot of tension going into this match. Not only do I have to think about what my next play is, but I also have to get inside of my opponent's head and think of what their next move could be. Not only is this a test of speed, but it's also a battle of the minds. I think we're gonna shotgun Prylands first, then... I don't know. Do I high number chase? Do I think about it too much or do I just go? I had little time to collect myself when the race started, so it was back to Pridelands. I found a torn page and a couple of reports, but my mind remained cluttered with indecision. Do I wait for Beast Castle until I get wisdom, or am I just in my own head? Oh my god, so many reports! Okay, there's Promise Charm at least, that's good. I think I'm gonna go Twilight Town. Or, uh, no time for indecision, I'm gonna go Halloween Town instead. Indecision is gonna cost me big time. Final form, let's go, that was worth. With Final Form in hand, I booked it to Twilight Town so I could open several chests in a short amount of time. But the first couple of chests contained nothing of value. Now I feel like I, I made not correct play. After tearing through some nobodies, I was rewarded with two critical items. Yes! And there's Valor. After making it to the tower, I decided to round off my shotguns. Olympus had little to offer, but Hollow Bastion was a godsend as it contained Reflect. I decided to extend my shotgun into Hollow Bastion where I found a thunder element, but I also found two more reports. I'm making it rain paper, y'all. And I brought the storm to Disney Castle where I found Blizzard and another torn page. I went further into Timeless River, but I ended up following another paper trail. This was demoralizing and the effects were very apparent. God damn it. I'm mad at myself. I've never fucked that up before. I'm so squirrely. I'm in my own head right now. I think at this point I chase after chase after Beast Castle. Well, yeah. I thought about 100 Acre. I need to stop second guessing my plays. I ended up ditching Beast Castle to raid the treasure room in Agrabah, but there were no spoils for me to reap. I located Magnet in Yetzid's tower, so maybe the proofs will start gravitating toward me. Eh, wishful thinking? I took my hunt to 100 Acre Wood, where I had a sneaking suspicion that I was gonna have to shake down these animals to find what I'm looking for. As the 50 minute mark drew closer, the fear of falling behind only grew stronger, as one word pierced through my clouded thoughts. Where? Where are these proofs? Where is my opponent? Where should I be going? I'm at a point where I kind of don't know what to do. I think I push OC. What's faster? TT2? Am I being too hard on myself and thinking too deeply about this? No! I need that 17th place! You think this is just a game? I'm competing on the fields of war! And hesitating could cost me my life, but all I keep finding are pieces of fucking paper! Although something about this paper is telling me to go bear tossing. Basically, once I clear this world, I have to make a gamble. Do I finish out this world to get that torn page? This is such a weird situation. I have three options, and none of them are ideal. I can try to level up my drive forms for the last check, but I would have to first get limit form, which is somewhere deep in Pride Lands, and then I'd have to level each form up individually. It's too much of a time sink. I can push the worlds I haven't completed yet, but there's so much unfinished content and I don't know how quickly I can do them. Or I can listen to the whispers of the pages that beckon me to yeet the bear, but the last check may not be in Spooky Cave, so I'd have to go back and finish Twilight Town in order to get the last page. I had to make a gamble. Where are you go, Spooky Cave? Fuck it. Is it yeet the bear? See the bear. I'll never trust paper again. I uh, I am not feeling good right now. Other dude hasn't finished yet, so this shit's gotta be deep. It had officially reached the hour mark, and I couldn't be more anxious. I went to Beast Castle, bust, trudged through Olympus Coliseum, dead end. All the while, I couldn't shake this nagging feeling of, what if? I have to yellow it. 
If this is a proof, I'm a god. If it's not a proof, I've wasted time. It all comes down to this. God damn it. The haze that once shrouded my mind dissipated as a visage of the end became all too clear. But my heart told me that if I'm going out, I gotta go out swinging, right? Oh, proof of peace, let's go! Oh, let's go! I am not out of this yet! My heart is racing, y'all. If my opponent's here, it's gonna be fucking close. But where exactly is my opponent? Well, you see. Oh my god! What's the load list different? Okay, nobody Daxian still has lower on load list. Are you leveled? You've got the stats! Ah! It could still come down to a scuffed final Zem, so this is far from over. I can't afford to trip right at the finish line. Any mistake could make or break my place in this tournament. It could come down to a dome. I gotta get dome skip. The outcome of the race came all too quickly as tensions rose in the final seconds, but it became all too clear. Damn it! No! I hit the wrong- Oh, I hit my shortcut. Come on, instead of fucking session! I wasn't gonna retain my title as the best 17th place finisher. Get your GGs out for nobody Daxian, 17th place, no more. Because I'm gunning for first. Dax, how did it feel to get that wave of relief after you're probably panicking, not knowing where two of those proofs off, and then they just both show up, back to back, they just both show up. <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought I was choking the whole time. This match could have gone either way, but that's the nature of these races. Rando be rando. Sometimes the matches are just really intense. And my next match turned the intensity up to an 11. Words are hard. Hold on, I gotta loosen up a little bit. I hate High School Musical, by the way. The strategy is going to be not to think too much. What happened last stream was I plotted out too much and I tried to plot too far out ahead that I started to get inside of my own head. And that caused me to make a lot of mistakes. Port Royal is an eight. That's rough. Maybe, actually I'll do Pride Lands then Disney Castle and then figure it out from there. DYS. Do your shotguns. It may seem as though I'm not taking this race seriously, but there's no way to know what the fastest path is, so why bother thinking too hard about it? Instead of focusing my energy on elements I can't control, I should focus on what content I can clear fastest and adapt my strategy to whatever tools I find along the way. And that's exactly what I did. Torn pages, all right, we may take a dip in the 100 acre. Ooh, explosion. Limit form! Okay, I'm definitely going Disney Castle next. All right, Minnie, what you got for me? Ooh, we're pushing Beast Castle for sure now. Ooh, Valor form. Port Royal is looking very juicy right now, but I can actually clear more content in Twilight Town first. If I save it last, then I'll acquire more tools to push it as far as I can. Although it appears I'm second guessing myself, I'm actually crunching the numbers inside of my head and making snap decisions that I embrace with full confidence. I learned from my mistakes and I sure as hell applied what I learned. In a perfect world, we don't have to do Hades Chase. Promise Charm. It is a perfect world. Or maybe I'm just lucky, I don't fucking know. I'm gonna go ahead and clear out Hollow Bastion. I think I just go big number chasing now. Do content fast. Arguably, the start of the run is always the easiest part. You just navigate around the beginning of the levels looking for tools. The mid game is where your decisions matter the most, and I'm having to do some intense mental gymnastics. STT has wisdom, oh no. Ooh, Ansem Report, Twilight Town has Master. All right, do I want to do Port Royal 2 after going through Twilight Town and getting Master form? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and push it. Ooh. Oh, there's a proof. Let's fucking go. I'm not gonna go one chasing quite yet. So my theory right now, we're approaching the, the top of the hour. Race time hasn't gone off yet. These have to be somewhere. We're officially in the late game, and the tracker is looking scary with all those low numbers. I have to make some big decisions that will either secure my victory or guarantee my failure. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear this out. If it's if it's Zaldin, I'm gonna say fuck it, not dealing with it. Nope, it's Zaldin. I'm out. I feel like I'm behind at this point. See, now I'm questioning whether I should have just went ahead and fought Zaldin. I mean, looking at this, a lot of this is just boss fights. So what, what boss fights can I think I can do comfortably? 
Proof of peace! Let's go! It was on limit! Starting to sweat more, because literally any minute now, it could be GG over. Where do I go after this? Do I bite the bullet on Port Royal? Do Zaldin. Oh! We're on it! 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 We are so fucking on it. I'm feeling good, y'all. I'm feeling pretty good. It's go time! The weight has been lifted off of my shoulders, and I'm ready to push that weight onto you. Because you're about to have some information that I didn't have. Holy shit! They are entering roughly the same time. Hang on to your coats. Oh my god. This is gonna come down to the second. This is gonna come down to every single decision in Final Fight. It's down to the wire. As long as he doesn't finish before I get to Armor 2, I think I'm in the lead. This was the closest race in the whole tournament. We were neck and neck as we tore our way through the Xemnas. I can tell that I've seen a lot of Daxian streams as of late. I know that he's super talkative, super engaging with his chat. You see that mouth is closed shut. He, is, he does not give a shit about anything other than crossing that finish line. And in the final fights, it comes down to split second decisions. I'm either like right behind or right ahead. A single mistake can decide this entire thing. He pulled it out too early! If Warehouse gets the dome skip, it's over. Oh, and nobody no, Daxian got, got domed! God damn it, is dome really gonna be what causes it? This is so scary. What a close finish this was! And Warehouse Jesus! just finished advancing to the top wow. eight. And nobody Daxian probably just realized that Warehouse finished. God, that's upsetting. <laughs> Much like my last tournament, victory slipped right through my fingers. It was heart-wrenching to say the least, but the most prominent emotion was pride. I'll be honest, I actually went into this tournament thinking I wouldn't make it past the qualifiers, and yet I surprised myself time and time again, and all I can say is holy shit. But hey, we did top 16. I think that's pretty fucking awesome. I think that's pretty impressive. I, I do want to quickly wrap up and say that Nobody Daxian was the least experienced person with Rando in this top 16. So to keep it this close, this deep in the race, this man brought 110% into the tourney. And you know what else, chat? We didn't get last. We didn't get fucking 17th. We got number nine, baby! I may not have won, but I had a hell of a good time. The randomizer scene is just fun, and I can't quite put my finger on why. Is it the pure chaos of trying to find the proofs? Is it the thrill of finding new tools? Is it the rush of adrenaline as you make your mad dash to final fights? Actually, I know exactly what it is. Rando be Rando. And I love Rando. Hello, and welcome to the end of the video. I normally don't do outros like this, but there's a couple things I want to say. Secondly, I want to give a big thank you to Roro Maniac, who was the host of this tournament. Shoutouts to him for letting me use footage from the commentator's booth, and also just shout out for being kind of a cool person. Apparently, I was one of the first people he told about that the tournament was happening, so that was like a pretty big honor. And if the randomizer tourney scene looks fun to you, and you want to try it out for yourself, but you don't want to race against all the people who are pro gamers, I've heard through the Grapevine that uh, Fresh Faces 2 is in the works. Just saying. If you enjoyed, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to join the greatest community this side of the realm of light. And while you're at it, you may also enjoy this video right here. Just saying. <laughs>